G'day folks, Troy Dean here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to register a domain name, and then how to attach an SSL certificate to that domain name, so that you can secure your website, so that when people visit your website, they feel confident interacting with your website, and they get that nice padlock icon in the browser bar, and they know that your website is secure. Very, very important step here, and if you just follow the bouncing ball, it's actually quite simple. So, let's get to work. Okay, so here we are on the DreamHost dashboard. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna install an SSL certificate to make sure my website is secure. So if I come over to my main menu here and go to Domains and click the drop down arrow, there's an option here for SSL TLS certificates. And what I want is an SSL certificate, which stands for Secure Socket Layer. It's basically the same kind of level of security that the banks use and all websites now should have an SSL certificate, otherwise people who visit your website just won't trust it and they won't interact with it. Now here's the thing, you need a domain name before you can attach an SSL certificate to it. So with DreamHost, I don't have a domain name yet, so I need to register a domain and then I can get a, an SSL certificate and attach the SSL certificate to that domain. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to register a domain name now this is a deep rabbit hole because uh, there aren't many dot coms available anymore. Um, so you'll just need to keep cycling through different domain name ideas until you find one that you're happy with. Uh, I happen to use uh, this name quite a bit for online activities, Geeky Monkey, and I happen to know that thegeekymonkey.com uh, is available. So I'm just gonna add that for $6.99. Now here's a catch, this pricing is for the first year only. So it's gonna be $6.99 for the first year, but then domain names at DreamHost will renew at about $15 a year. So I'm going to add thegeekymonkey.com to my cart, and that is the domain name that I'm going to use to produce all of these how-to videos. I'm gonna register that for one year. I'm gonna to proceed to checkout. Then I'm gonna fill in my Whois information. And so if anyone does a Whois search for this particular domain name, uh, my information will come up. And I'm okay with that because I really don't have anything to hide. And importantly down here, I'm going to use DreamHost's name servers. That's a whole other conversation that we can have another time, but just for now, use the DreamHost's name servers, which basically means that when someone types in your domain name, in this case, thegeekymonkey.com, uh, the internet servers around the world are going to say, oh, that's hosted by DreamHost, send them over to DreamHost to find that website. I'm gonna click on continue, and I'm going to register the domain name for one year and proceed to payment. I'm gonna choose credit card as my payment option and fill in my credit card details. And voila, I have registered thegeekymonkey.com. Uh, DreamHost tells me I'll receive an email in the next 15 minutes with the registration confirmation. Now here's the thing, domain names can take up to two or three days to actually appear on the internet. And what that means is that all the internet servers around the world need to catch up with this new domain name that's been registered. I've seen this happen as quickly as half an hour. I have seen it take three days before. So uh, you might just need to wait uh, it just all depends on how much is going on uh, on the internet during that time. But if I come back over here to my menu and then click on manage domains, you can now see here the geekymonkey.com is a domain name that I have registered in my DreamHost account. Okay, now that we've registered the domain at DreamHost, there are two more parts to this process. One, we need to tell DreamHost that we want to actually host the domain name at DreamHost. I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but it's like registering personalized number plates and then attaching those number plates to a car. You have to register the personalized number plates, you have to register the car, and then you have to attach the number plates to that vehicle. So that's kind of what we're doing here. We've registered the domain name with DreamHost. Now we need to tell DreamHost that we want them to host the domain as well. So we come over to manage domains in our menu here. Uh, we go to edit under the domain name that we've just created and that we've just registered. And then we scroll down about halfway down this page, there's a blue button that says fully host this domain. And that's what we wanna do right now. We wanna fully host this domain and tell DreamHost to host the new domain name that we've just registered. 
Okay, thegeekymonkey.com has been edited and uh, the uh, uh, changes should take effect within the next five to ten minutes. So geekymon- thegeekymonkey.com will now be hosted at DreamHost. The next part is to get an SSL certificate and to attach that SSL certificate to the domain so we can start using HTTPS, thegeekymonkey.com, as our domain name. Over in our sidebar menu here, if you choose SSL certificates, the domain name that we've registered will be listed here. We click on add, and I'm just going to use the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate because it's free and it's fine to get started with for our purposes. Remember, we're just setting up a WordPress website here to learn how to, how to make websites. So I'm going to select this certificate, and that's it. We're done. The geekymonkey.com, the certificate for the geekymonkey.com has been ordered, and again, it'll take up to 15 minutes for those changes to be pushed out to the server. So within the next 24 hours, we should have a secure domain name called thegeekymonkey.com and we should be able to go to https colon forward slash forward slash thegeekymonkey.com and that should resolve to a a parked page on DreamHost and that will be our domain name. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to transfer the WordPress installation that we set up right at the start of this series and how to migrate that WordPress installation over to our new domain name so we can actually start playing with it. It's not just as simple as changing the URL for that WordPress website. There's a bit of work we need to do on the database, but fortunately, there's a very handy plugin that's going to do that for us automatically. All right, now the good news is I've just entered HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash thegeekymonkey.com into my web browser and you can see here it's resolving to a DreamHost page already. So the domain name is active and it's live. All I need to do now is move WordPress from my temporary domain that DreamHost set up for me when I first opened my account, move that WordPress installation over here to thegeekymonkey.com and uh, and I can start making websites. And that's what we're going to cover in the next video. Hey, if you're finding this useful, click the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified and leave me a comment or questions or any feedback underneath this video and let me know what you'd like to learn on your journey to starting and growing your very own web design business. I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Until then, I'm Troy Dean. Go Elevate.